Hello everyone. In today's class, let us learn about some important concepts of interior of a set on the topic topological space. So let's consider a topological space, say capital X. Let us consider two subsets of capital X, A and B. Then, if A is the subset of B, which implies A interior will be the subset of B interior. Consider interior of A intersection B, then it will be equal to A interior intersection B interior. The third result, interior of A union interior of B will always be the subset of A union B interior. Okay, let us learn all these results with proof. In the hypothesis they had given A be the subset of B. Then by the definition of interior, we can write A interior will be the subset of B. Because we know that A interior is always the subset of A. That we have proved in our last video. That is, we can write A interior is an open set contained in B. Because here they had given A interior is the subset of B. Which implies B is the larger set compared to A interior. A interior will be inside the subset of B. Therefore, we can write A interior is an open set contained in B. Again, we can note that which is open set because interior of a set is always open set that is by the definition of interior. For this you can refer uh, my last video also. But we know that B interior is the largest open set contained in B. This is by the theorem we have proved in our last video. A interior is the largest open set contained in A. Okay. By that we can write here uh, in the place of A we have B. Therefore, we can write A interior is the subset of B interior. Because B interior is the largest one. So, we can write this. Thus, whenever you are having A is the subset of B which implies A interior will be the subset of B interior. This proves the first result of the theorem. Let us learn about the second result. As you know A intersection B always the subset of A because here intersection is there. Similarly A intersection B is the subset of B also. If Consider this A intersection B as some C, then it will be C is a subset of A. If C is a subset of A, which by that we can write C interior is the subset of A interior. This is by the first result because if A is a subset of B, then A interior will be the subset of B interior similarly. So, we can write A intersection B. We can substitute C as A intersection B. Then C, C will be the subset of A implies C interior will be subset of A interior. Similarly, A intersection B interior is a subset of A interior. And here also A intersection B interior is a subset of B interior. Combining these two, we will get A intersection B interior intersection A intersection B interior. So, considering these two is the subset of A interior intersection B interior. Again, considering this and this. So, here we had considered these two and considered these two. Uh, these two, um, in between there is a subset. So, um, intersection of two sets of same value implies we left with A intersection B interior only is the subset of A interior intersection B interior. Call this as equation 1. 
again by the definition of interior of a set you can write a interior is a subset of a b interior is the subset of b whenever a and b are the subsets of x individually so that also we have proved in our last video combining again these two we left with a in interior intersection b interior is the subset of a intersection b individually we have combined with the operation intersection as you know a interior and b interior are open sets and the intersection of two open set is again open set so a interior intersection b interior is the open set we can write again by the result we can write a interior intersection b interior is an open set contained in intersection b because we got a intersect a interior intersection b interior is a subset of a intersection b right so that we have uh, got in the last step but we know that a intersection b interior is the largest open set contained in a intersection b because a interior is the largest open set contained in a right by this result we can write like this uh whenever we are converting the statement to equation mode that will be a inter interior intersection b interior here this is a subset of intersection b and a intersection b its interior is the largest open set contained in a intersection b so we can write a interior intersection b interior is the subset of a intersection b interior call this as equation 2 from equation 1 and 2 in the equation 1 we got interior of a intersection b is a subset of a interior intersection b interior in the equation 2 we got a interior intersection b interior is a subset of a intersection b interior combining these two we get a intersection b interior is equal to a interior intersection b interior okay this proves the result let's prove the third result third result uh, we need to prove that a interior union b interior is a subset of a union b interior this we need to prove uh, we know that A is a subset of A union B, which is always true. B is a subset of A union B, which is also true. And uh, if A is a subset of this, consider this as some set D. Then this can be written as A is a subset of D implies A interior is a subset of D interior. In the place of D, we have A union B. Similarly, this B interior will be the subset of A union B interior. Combining these two. by union operation a interior union b interior is the subset of a union b interior this proves the result like this we prove all these results okay um here the equality doesn't holds we prove that result in the next video that is Uh, in our next video we prove a interior union b interior is not equal to a union b interior with generalized example okay